ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. It was more like um, I grew up in like an uh, aggressive house. I had an older brother. We're always getting down. So probably um, I wanted to learn how to like defend myself in a way. And plus I was like garbage at like any other sports. Like football. I played football, basketball, baseball. I was alright at baseball, but I just wanted to, you know, just um, just try something different, and I ended up sticking with it at like the age of nine. <clears throat> in boxing, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. You gotta be disciplined. Um, you, so, so that kind of like built character in me. You know, I had to um, be at the gym after school instead of hanging out with my friends. On weekends, I would be at tournaments or trying to get a fight at shows. Um, so I didn't get to like go out to like birthday parties and stuff like that. And even now, you know, um, my family has like gatherings and stuff like that and I, I'm in camp for a fight so I can't eat certain food you know so it, it builds a lot of character probably my first tournament it, it was uh, I went in as a novice I had like about eight, nine fights and um, it was my first time fighting an open tournament because they didn't let me fight novice anymore and I actually fought five days in a row it was the uh, desert showdown in Indio California and I won I fought five days it was I was like maybe like 11 12 years old but I won, that was my first belt. So from there I was like, all right, maybe like, you know, this is something that I could do. Um, as an amateur, I, I had my mind on the Olympics. I was like, man, like, once I started going to tournaments and stuff like that, I was like, all right, like, I, I could do this if I just put my mind to it, you know, it's, it's dream big, reach for the stars. And um, so the, the Olympics is probably like one of the main goals that I had. Uh, Ruben, something special because I've known him since he was nine years old. He started in my amateur program, and to see him develop from an amateur all the way to the pro, it's it's very very um. I'm gonna say as a coach, it's very um. Like I'm proud because you know what I mean. A lot of other trainers don't start their their guys from the from the bottom up. They always get them from other gyms or or just guys come to them. They have a, a reputation as great trainers, and they'll go. But like Ruben, just from the beginning, he's always been with me, and um, it's great. He's a good kid, and um, he left boxing for a while. He left boxing for about three years, when um, played football, enjoyed his senior year, and little. It, it is a good thing that he got away from a little bit, so he doesn't get burned out. But um, one of the things he went to college for one year, he came back, and I he goes, I want to do this, coach, and I was like, you could do this, but on one condition, you gotta be taking classes at college. So he did, he did what he had to do, and we're still at it. He's still going to school, and, and we're a future world champion. Um, you know, as a teenager, you kind of like want to do your own thing. You want to like um, learn on your own, I guess you could say. My, my dad always wanted me to continue on the boxing path. Um, he was like, don't stop. Like, you know, he was always reminding me that you're good, you could do something. So um, I didn't want to listen. You know, I just wanted to, like I said, learn for myself. And I did. Um, I had my fun, whatever, in high school. I played football. I didn't start. Like I said, I wasn't really ever good at any other sports, but I learned. And, um, going out to school in San Francisco, I went to uh, San Francisco State for a year. Um, it was another learning experience. <coughs> um, I, I like. I went to school, did that thing, uh, met a lot of people. It, it wasn't. It wasn't for me. I felt like I didn't really feel like I fit. I fit in. Mostly because probably like I I um, lagged a lot of experiences that other teenagers had growing up in high school. I don't know what it was. I just felt like I didn't fit in, and that wasn't for me. Which is why I made the decision to come back home and um, pursue my career in boxing. Um, for all the guys, there's school is important, but um, it's what well, Ruben was because how he left for so many years. I never knew how he was gonna come back and and be like you know physically or his skills or this gonna still. You know, I mean, to be from being away from boxing for three years, sometimes you're just not, not the same fighter, and so it was something that I told him. Like I explained to him, I'm honest with all my fighters, and I told him, like, you know, you've been away for a long time. Um, we have to start with the amateur fights, and you need to go to school because if this doesn't work out, you still have to go. You have to have something to fall back on. Man, I've been knowing this guy for like more than half of my whole life, so like he's like he's like a. Um, and, and another dad to me, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he keeps me, um, keeps me honest. He's always making sure um, that I'm that I'm respectful, that, that I'm looking out for my for my teammates. 
um, that I'm taking care of myself, respecting my body, staying on my diet. So, like, um, it's just like uh, having another father figure in your life, you know, and he, um, he just taught me a lot also. It was like something that I never thought that could happen. Like, it was kind of like unreal to me, even though I was there at the office and we had that meeting or like the signing event. It was like, wow, like this is the real deal. You know, there's no turning back now. There's, it's just like pedal to the metal. You gotta, um, the, another door opened and, and I can actually put myself in, in um, the shoes of like people who went out and got, grabbed world titles. So it was, it was crazy, man. Uh, it's something I don't really pay attention to too much, even though like you know you have the hype all around you. But like I said, like my coaches, they do a good job of making making sure that we're not um, too full of ourselves. We're like, all right, um, you got that win. Now let's see how you can look better, how you can improve. Um, it's it, it's uh you're on a schedule, you know. So like after after the gym, you got to go to class, and um, you 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 have homework after you're tired of like a long day at the gym. We have two days, and you got to go do homework. So. I mean, um, it's definitely something that I, I've had to learn and make adjustments to in my schedule. But um, I mean, my, my coach also he was like, "I'm not gonna coach you if you don't if you don't um, go to school. Like, you, you better be going to school. Like, what else are you gonna do?" And that was before I turned pro. So I mean, now um, I learned that I can do it. Like, be in the gym and also going to school. So it's like um, I'm young, you know. So why not? I'm a major in kinesiology, so um, I'm looking to go into the physical therapy, um, physical therapy, and work with like injured athletes um, in hospitals or even uh, people recovering from like uh, being paralyzed or being in um, bad injuries. Um, a multiple division world champion.